How's it going everybody? Back in time and just in time for another episode of Plucky Squire. Last session, got through Boogie Beach, Tumba left us unfortunately, and now we're back at Ardia because Humgrump is taking over the castle. So good to go, the gang's all here, they're kind of stuck behind some rocks, so there we go. Okay, good to go. This might be the final chapter, I'm not sure. I'm grumpies everywhere. Look at their fancy town now. Haha. <laughs> it's our town now. We'll take it nice and comfy, you'll see. We'll make it nice and comfy. Yeah, horrid brutes. We'll show you horrid, you entitled little brats. You better get lost. Wah! Wow. How do those grubby goons think they are? Who do those? Ransacking my beautiful town. These sort can't take make anything beautiful themselves. So all they do is wreck and ruin. Well, it won't stand. Someone has to stop these bullies. It's time for me to join the fight. All right, Violet. Boy, John, gang, let's do this. Are they actually in a fight, or am I gonna have to do the last hits on everything? I'm not even looking at the rest of them. They might do it. That or I think they just weaken them. Oh, there's actual tanks. Okay. Didn't know we had to deal with those. Can we go inside buildings? No. I thought they were going to be baddies inside. Are we looking for any stowaways? Oh, here we go. Wasn't expecting another art piece so soon. Got one one page, one page ago. Uh, some early concept of game environments. This would eventually become the Dino Land Jot Adventures through on the desk. Latch followed the large footprints. I guess his name used to be Latch. That might have been another note that I read and just forgot. I'm guessing we need to go outside and blow up the tanks. At the big heart. Quickly check every building just in case of more health, more art pieces. I'm not leaving yet. First, just check every house. Okay. Now I can leave. You guys stay here while I blow everything up. I missed. See, you now, the, like, our, my crew doesn't know what I'm doing, but yet these guys know there's a bomb on top of them. That's weird. They somehow sense the bomb. And when I go in the castle this time, I can get that glitch bird. Since he was cut off. I was cut off from him the first visit. Job well, job done. I'm Grumpy's eliminated. A little bit of cash. Check this house. Nothing. Oh, new, new boss. Is there some grump we haven't dealt with yet? Have those horrid brutes all gone? It's a mage! Whoa! Who's this weirdo? I'm not a weirdo. I am Hungrump's loyal mage. He sent me to disintegrate you. And that is what I shall do now. Mage, huh? A magic wielder, that's what he is. Guys, we won't be able to defeat this chap with a bonk on the head. No, a magic wielder can only be defeated by magic. I suppose it's time for me to step up the bat. Is Violet gonna get a jacked form too? Maybe. Violet readied her wand. That's a paintbrush. It was time to get magical. No jacked form. Nope. Tower defense. Oh, bubble bubble. Wasn't expecting that. Played this with the guys, so I'm pretty familiar with it. There's no angles, though? Oops, I just wanted to test if I can... There's gotta be a way to angle them. Feels wrong if you can't. We do combos. 
Let's see how you handle this. I don't think there you can rotate. I can't. Ugh. Oh, you can still play it. Okay. Oops. L and R? No, it just shoots for you. Ooh, there's the combos. I I'm not out yet. I really wish you can rotate. Like that. And some of these. Here comes a combo. This is fun. I just wish you could rotate. Just you wait. Whoa! See, I want to just lead it off on that one so I can just drop them. There we go. Looking good. Whole lot of red, though. Oh, big damage. No, you won't defeat me. Ow, 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 bombs everywhere. There we go. That was fun. That was too easy. It was a little too easy. I wish you could rotate, though. I wish you could, like, bounce off the walls like in real Bubble Bobble. And her former schoolmates, quite flabbergasted. Actually, no, it's Puzzle Bubble, not Bubble Bubble. Bubble Bubble's the full first game, but the characters are in Puzzle Bubble. Well, that was amazing. You're natural at this magic thing. Magic respect. Major respect. Aha, well, you know. I picked up a few spells and charms here and there. Not much, maybe, but they can be useful in a pinch. Not much? You serve that mage a potion pile driver. Violet. You saved us from that creepy wizard. Your magic, it was... It was breathtaking. It was nothing. But listen, it's not safe for you to be around here. We've cleared out the town. You should be able to get out of here, okay? Get to safety. Yes, Violet. Thank you, Violet. And they... Oh, I thought they were going to run straight into the castle. Come on, let's get to the castle. We f I know there's a glitch bird inside. Such a magic battle I've ever seen. Bloombeard's sorcery is even stronger than I'd heard. Soon the main event. Dot versus Humgrum, a clash for the history books. Oh bother, busted again. They heard everything. I really have to stop talking to myself. Away he goes. That dude again. Last time we saw him, he got, he got booted out of the book, Jot. So uh, let's be on our toes. I'm gonna guess now that that is Sam. Somehow in book form. I got a glitch bird. When you feel that you are lost with no way out in sight, please be brave and have hope. There is always a way back to the light. And thank you for rescuing this glitch, glitch bird. There are still a few more to find. I go right? No. Nope. I know there's one in the castle, unless that one moved out here. Again, I'm just rolling because it's faster by like a sliver. Impressive, Moonbeard. Impressive. Obviously, I'm no match for your magical majesty. Of course, of course, you've always been the better wizard. Me, I'm just the sniveling little talentless grump, always in your shadow. I should have known my place. I should have never dared stand against my beloved younger brother. The magnificent move beard. What a fool I am, what a dumb grump. Give it a rest, hum grump. Always feeling sorry for yourself. You should get out more. Do some sport. A bit of vigorous exercise. Then you used to like ping pong. I remember you playing it with Ma. Well remembered. It was my thing for a while. But one day you beat me at that too. So I said, so long to ping pong. I do remember one of the strange strategies, though. 
Misdirection, make it look like you're on the back foot. Then come back strong with a winning. Then come back strong with a winning backhand. Oh, Moonbeard is dead. Oh, he he's dead. Legit. This game goes to Humgrump. Jot, you gotta put the shades on. And now Humgrump sat upon the Arctic throne to claim his rightful role as the grand ruler of all of Mojo. Sam's like, I don't want this book. I don't think the game actually reset. I'm not going to click anything. I'm just going to let it run. The Throner Digital. Amazing. Do we get to play as him now? Oh, yeah. Play the entire game again from Humgrove's perspective. Had to save that? Once upon a time, there was a magnificent wizard named Humgrump. Lord Humgrump ruled the land of Mojo, overlooking all from his splendid palace. That looks like a cool palace. He was the ruler of Mojo because he was the greatest person who had ever lived in the land. And he knew what was best for its people. The loyal ones would be treated with great grace and fairness. And taxed at the very reasonable rate of 96%. The That's a fair percentage. Ones, well, they would be put in their place. <laughs> And that was a place which was many miles underground and was known as Jail? Deep Doom. <laughs> One such disloyal subject was the wretched Squire Jot, who found himself now imprisoned in a cell in the depths of Deep Doom, which was exactly where he belonged. Oh, my control? Yep. The heavy iron gate was very much shut. Now, what's the- is there any- s oh, I don't have a sword! Now, as a book, are you meant to just- <laughs> did they intend for you to, like, rotate the book and read, like, three words kind of thing? As a child? Okay, let's see what we got. Broken wall led to another cell chamber. Ha! Now, doesn't Humgrump know if Sam shelves the book, then he gets nothing out of this as well? What happens if I switch him? Nothing, okay. Because, like, if the book is shelved, then everyone loses energy. And no one lives, basically. Anyone else in the cells? I can't even roll again. The vent looked very foreboding and not at all like a convenient passageway. In I go. The traitor Jot peered traitor. into the terrifying darkness of the vent. Inside which awaited a frightening and ultimately lonely death. Jump! 
Avoid the lasers. The energy beam looked warm and enticing. Do I jump? Oh no, there's Pip. Pip will save us. There he is. Jot, you're alive. Boy, am I happy to see you. You know how many dingy corridors I scampered through trying to find you? It was a lot. Anyway, it's just brilliant to see you. You know, we're not in the best shape, to be honest. Moonbeard is no longer with us. Humgrub now rules Mojo from his horrible palace, which he has rudely jammed right on top of our Tia castle. It's said that Queen Chroma is imprisoned in his pal palace. I see you don't have your sword. You know, I overheard a couple of troops on the way here. They said they'd taken all your gear to a spot somewhere outside the book. So I suppose we won't be finding it in Deep Doom. But two things we may find are Violet and Thrash, because I'm pretty sure they're imprisoned close by. Come on, let's go find them and get that band back together. What's in here? Oh! Glitch Bird! You found the sixth Glitch Bird. Then tried I Glitch Birds look similar to each other. However, each one is quite unique. For example, in its homeland, the Glitch Bird you must you just rescued is a cart chartered surveyor. Okay. Still can't roll. We're just walking. Is Pip following us? Yep, there he is. Now there were two wretched fugitives. Is Humgrub writing the book? Development. Oh, okay. I know what's ahead. One of Humgrub's data centers. You'd be not. You would not believe how much these cats love their paperwork. They're always reporting each other and trying to get each other into trouble. What a fun bunch. Listen, these data centers are crawling with troops. Sneak past them though, I'm a mouse. Sneak leaking, sneaking, slinking around is my jam. Once I'm through, I can open a vent and let you through a side passage. Leave it to trusty Sneaky Pip. Do we get to play as Pip? Ahead of the fugitives lay a data center stocked full of wonderful life affirming paperwork. Now patrolled by highly competent guards. A traitorous rodent prepared to sneak through its corridors. A plan quite obviously doomed to hilarious failure. Now with those shades. Oh, we're playing a little bit of uh Crypt of the Crypt of the Necro Dancer. That's cool. Section log tax codes for snails. Section 19G lists of troublesome certains and first pets. Oh, that's fun. Ah, uh, we have to hit the switch? Yeah. Uh-oh. Try to get a little ahead of them first. This is fun. Tips for avoiding troublesome thoughts. Oh, that's the only file here. Now we wait. Then run. Uh, just hit the switch and go, okay. Oh, I was worried that guy was gonna come out and start patrolling other areas. I should be safe here. There. That's fun. This is fun. Do I have to do it as Jot now? No. Nope. The horrid little mouse had made it past the troops. 
and opened a vent to let his equally horrid associate through. <laughs> this turn of events was not very pleasing. Yeah, I think it's Humgrub writing it. Phew, well that was exciting. I haven't sneaked it so intensely since Moonbeard noticed his hard cheddar was missing. Made it through, come on, let's press on. Oh dear, a complete and utter dead end. No it's not. There was absolutely nothing to see over this way. Bother. <laughs> no, don't go fur, I want to check the other way first. Hey, that's Violet's wand. That means she has to be nearby. Grab a jot, we can give it to her when we see her. Not yet. What's on the right? Thrash's sticks? Oh! Hangout spot. Some cold pizza over there. Can't imagine these guys make good pizza choices. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully this is the next one in order. I didn't miss any. Oh, it's black and white even. Oh, I missed one! Where? No, no, I'm froze on the spot. Latch dude, he explained. What the heck is that? Ah, uh, exploration in the presentation of story sequence. At first they were more comic-like in their layout, formatted in square panels, but eventually became more picturesque. Picture book-esque, I guess. I missed one though, where? It had to be in like a secret wall, I think. Press the big button. I'm really hoping after the, when you beat the game, it just says like, you missed X amount of items in this chapter, and I can just go to the chapter and do it again. I'm hoping, just that it's a base, it's a simple process to find everything. Okay, before I go in there, Jop, my whiskers are telling me that Violet is in that cell. Let's check it out. There she is. Violet, hey there. Dot 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 dot. Huh? Another funny dream. Poppin' Pippin' Jot, stand there in my cell. Violet, it's not a dream, it's really us. We've come to break you out. You're in deep doom, humgrub space. A big lunk has taken over the land. We have to get to his palace and kick him out. It's really you. You bet it is. Jot and Pip, live and kicking. And Thrash, I'm pretty sure he's around here too. Moonbeard? Moonbeard is dead. I'm sorry, Violet. Moonbeard was gone. It's my fault. All this is my fault. Moonbeard thought I could make my magic protect everyone. He was so confident, he almost convinced me. Deep down, I knew that I couldn't. I thought I could change my story. I thought things could be re rewritten. But in the end, they couldn't. It all came back to the same old tale. I let Moonbeard down, I let everyone down. Violet, come on, that's not true. We were all in it together, we all tried our best. So one person at the root of all this misery, and that's Humgrump. Is it true that Humgrump is Moonbeard's brother? It is. So throw brotherly betrayal out onto the pile of no good stuff. Listen, there, things are bad, no doubt. This story, it's not over yet. We can still change the end, make things right. Can't change what happened, what's important is that we do now. Is what we do now. You're right. It's really good to see you both. It's good to see you too, Violet. Hey, we have something from yours. Thank you, Jot. Thank you, Pip. I'll do what I can. Can't let Humgrim get away with what we did to Moonbeard. What we did to Mojo. We have to free the people of the land. 1000%. Come on, let's get through that mountain troll fellow. Okay, away I go. Maybe we can save... Maybe Tumba's around here, too. Save everyone. Now there were three of them! Keep walking. Could they not just sit still? Data center ahead. I'll sneak through. Open side access for you both on the other side. Watch me scurry. He's gonna put on the hat again? Hat and shades? 
Another data center lay ahead of the treacherous trio. The cocky rodent prepared to sneak his way through again. The Somebody stop him. Smug arrogance that would no doubt be his undoing. How to report your friends and family. Guidelines for blinking correctly. Signs that your dog is a traitor. <laughs> oh, we have to be in position. Okay. Oh! Ooh, almost screwed up there. Oh, no, come on! I want the other way! Do it again. One screw up. That should be okay. What? Ugh, I wanted one. Crap. Oh, you can just hold it. Okay. That's better. I thought you had to just time it in the rhythm. Yeah, that makes things a lot better. There we go, much better. Lists of troublesome phrases and noises, okay. What did this do? Oh, there we go. There. There. Okay, let him into the next area. Run! Uh, how do I do this part? I would have to run. I think there's only three spots, though. Nope. You have to do it on the, the very last moment. There. Done. A little more complex than the last one. Once again, the furry little nuisance had somehow made it through. And once again, granted access to his chatted colleagues. This outcome was not great, and rather brought into question the competency of the guards and the effectiveness of their training curriculum. Well, when they only move to the beat... Well, we made it past the data center, but this thing here... Doesn't look very sneak pastable. If one ran fast enough, one could definitely slip through the gaps of the whizzing belt. Um, nope. <laughs> I'll keep my distance from those lethal whizzing blades, thanks. Jot, doesn't look like we can stop this machine from here. This calls for some plucky power from outside our world. Maybe there's one of those spinning portals around here. Helpful things appear in those need, you know? Okay, well, before that happens, quick check for any secrets. There we go. Hey, Humgrump's troops said they'd stash your items out there somewhere. Maybe you can get them back. Good luck, Jot. We'll be right here waiting for you. 
I mean, there's not really anywhere else to go. So, Violet, trivia quiz. Not a bad idea. Go easy on the questions about cheese this time, okay? No, nope, we're not going that way yet. First, uh, quickly check over here. In case of any other secrets. Nothing, okay. You never know they put one of the art pieces around, so I had to check. I can't use my powers right now, nor can I even roll. Dot! How exceedingly euphoric I am to see you. You seem to have invaded the clutches of the dastardly Humgrump. But your storybook, Humgrump, still very much has dominion over that, I'm afraid. How weary, stale, and unsparing the story has become. The life energy, it is draining from its pages. Sam discarded your book, placing it here on this dusty shelf. The book no longer inspires him, Jot. And without that spark of inspiration to guide him, Sam may wander into the wrong path and never fulfill his potential. I can already sense him changing. You must reignite that spark of inspiration, Jot. You must defeat Humgrump and restore the book's story to one of light. And also get the book back into the desk. Not sure how we're going to do that. But first things first, let's get your items and weapons back. They're down on the desk in a fortress occupied by Humgrump's troops. Get down there and retrieve them. Okay. Uh, before I go down, can I see it from up here? Can I also just like knock the book over? Brown pound or anything? I don't. S you're ten. Okay, so Sam is ten. I don't see any fortress though. We can't knock the book over. Oh, there's a mini beard. Talk to him. Hey, up! It's been a while. Careful near the edge, this shelf, it's a perilous drop. You know, there's another way down to the desk. A way that's much less bone crushy. Okay, we just use the portal, that's for sure. Nothing else up here on the shelf? No discarded toys or anything to work with? Nope, just top shelf stuff. Okay, so that's probably it for this episode. We got to chapter seven. Is this chapter seven? I don't know. We got to this, cha we got to this chapter, Humgrump's chapter. Saw a new title, Moonbeard died, apparently. So next session, we'll be climbing through the fortress, getting my stuff back, and maybe wrapping up this game. Unless there's more that I'm not expecting, but I think it's probably collect the items, fight Humgrump, find Thrash, and then fight Humgrump is my guess. So I'll see you guys in maybe the last episode next time.